All right, so in this video, we want to show our posts on the home page. Remember, this index method in our post controller is in charge of that. So we've already learned how to get the data out of a website and into our project and work with it using the request object. And now we want to see how we can send data to the view which is our page. So if we take a look at this view function, you can see it takes the view as the first argument and an array of data as the second argument. So if we just pass an array here and let's just add some simple data here. For example, I want to have a key that is called a name and the value for it is John. So I am providing this in an array as the second argument for my view function. And I want to grab this in posts index view so let's go to that view where we have only a title we want to see how we can grab this name this is very easy we can just grab it using the key so now that value is rendered on the page so this is how we can pass data from our controllers or our php documents to the view using the data array now we want to actually send the posts so we want to grab all the posts that we generated in the previous video and then send it to the view and see how we can show them on the page let's create a variable posts for it we can grab all the posts using our model so post model which is imported up here for us already now there are multiple methods to get all the posts but the simplest one is all so this would grab all the posts from our database let's actually die and dump that posts see what we get before sending it to the view so you can see we get a collection with two elements one is our items which is an array of 15 and then other elements that laravel would include automatically but if we open the array we have 15 elements and each element is an individual post you notice this is actually the class with all the properties and all the functions available on it so that means this collection is actually more than just a simple array or more than just a simple key value pair object it is very powerful and we can have a lot of flexibility when we are working with laravel eloquent models but if we check out our attributes we have the id the user id the title and so on so we have the actual post under the attributes of each element so we can send these posts to our view just like what we did with the name and the value so we want to call it posts and the value is going to be that collection now delete this die and dump and see how we can actually show this on the page because this is now a collection and we can't just say posts we would get this array of text which is not what we want so we want to loop over this then show individual posts in a blade template we have for each directive and in this for each we can pass posts as the collection that we want to loop over and we want to call each individual item a post so we want to say in posts as post maybe generate some data so let's have an h2 for the title so we want to say post title let's see how this works if we go back to our website we already have all the titles in our website now let's say we want a p tag for the body so let's say post body save it and there we go now let's actually style this in a nice way so in this for each i'm going to create a card for each post so we would have a div with a class of card and h2 for the post title and i'm also going to make some comments so we have the title then we would have the author and the date section so i would have a span that says posted on this date and by this user so for now i'm just hard coding date and username and adding some classes then we want to have the body of the post that is just going to show it in a smaller size text so this is our card that is used for each post let's see how it looks we have the title posted on this date by this user for now we are going to ignore the username because that needs more setup but let's talk about the date first right here where i have the date hard-coded we want to use the curly brackets and grab the post created at property so we can output the date like this and it would be down to the second but we have functions available to us that we can change the format of this date and laravel by default uses carbon for dates you can visit this website for documentation and the functions that are available to format this date and the one that we want is difference for human so this would say for example one month ago or two days ago so in our template we can chain diff for humans method that would turn the date into something like this so 19 minutes ago we posted 
all these posts. All right, so that's the first step. Next, I don't want to show all the text here. So this is the full body text of a post. And imagine if the user posts something really long and we don't want to show the whole text that would cover the full page. So for example, we want to show the first 10 sentences or the first five sentences. For that, we have a method in Laravel. So right here, we are outputting the post body. We can use the str class in Laravel. You can explore the methods available on this one. But if we type str, use the words method, which is a static method on the str class. This function would take the text that we want to render as the first argument, so in this case, we want to show the post body and as the second argument, the number of words. So if we say 15, for example, this would show only 15 words. And this is how it looks like. So we have 15 words and then we have this dot, dot, dot to show it's not finished. We can actually change that and pass a third argument. For example, I want these symbols and save it. Now we have those kind of an arrowhead. I prefer those dot 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 so we can so we don't have to pass the third argument. So again these are a string methods available on Laravel documentation so you can just explore and see what they are. But this is exactly what we want and it is coming together the way we want. Right now all of our posts are generated in the same time. But let's generate a few more posts so we have different time. Let's go back to our project and open database seeder where we said we want to have 15 posts. Let's change this to two. We just want two more posts and go back to terminal and run database seed again. Okay, so we should have two more posts. And if we refresh the site and go down, we have these two generated five seconds ago. You notice it's gone down to the very bottom. We want to get the latest posts first. So let's go back to our controller where we use this method all to fetch all the posts. We can also use a get method to fetch all the posts. This will not change anything. And I just want to add, I would strongly recommend read about eloquent model in Laravel documentation because they are very powerful and a lot of methods are available on it. But anyway, we want to grab the posts in a descending order of the date. So right before this get method, we can use the order by method and then chain the get method. And in this order by, we can pass created at since we want to order it by the date and then pass the order. By default is ascending. We want to say we want it backwards. So descending and then fetch the posts. All right. Now, if we refresh our site, the latest posts comes first. Now, since this is a very common approach, there is a shortcut for it, and that is latest. So this function would do the same thing, retrieve the records for us based on the latest entry. All right, so I just want to create a class with grid and two columns and gap six, and then move this div after the for each loop and save it. Now we have two columns of posts. So let's talk about pagination in the next video.